We begin with a remarkable sight seen across the country. In Mexico, the first place to experience the rare solar eclipse, the moment of totality coming at 2 07. That darkness in the middle of the afternoon and lasting for about four minutes. From Mexico to Maine and everywhere in between, millions of people captured the celestial event in differing forms. Here in South Florida, we experienced a partial solar eclipse with about 46% of the sun blocked by the moon. Next weather chief meteorologist Ivan Cabrera and I brought it to you live as it happened on our CBS News Miami stream with the viewing parties all over South Florida. Next weather meteorologist Dave Warren joins us live right now. He's in Fort Lauderdale and Dave, what a sight to behold. I hope there weren't a lot of clouds blocking your view like it did mine. We only had to take just a few uh, breaks here. There was bright sunshine most of the time, and it was two hours and 26 minutes. It wasn't totality, just 46%, like you said. But here at the Fox Observatory in Markham Park, that 46% got a lot of people out here with a line snaking all the way around, waiting to catch a glimpse of that eclipse as it happened. Sunshine was a welcome sight for those heading out to the Fox Observatory in Markham Park Monday afternoon. It's gonna be like, like a crescent moon, right? Yeah. Like clockwork, 147, they all looked up. It may not have been totality. I mean, 46% is pretty good. But it was still enough to get excited for all those involved. It's very exciting to me when I see kids and their parents just go, oh wow, I've never seen anything like this before. Exciting for the kids? It's pretty dope. And even the adults. It's just a golden opportunity. She's at a she's young age and I want her to see it. She wasn't alone. Because my dad's into it and he makes me into it, so now I like it. Gatherings like this happening all over South Florida. The Frost Museum, well, people were there working around the clouds. It's really cool. It's too bad that the cloud coverage is a little heavy today, but it's really awesome, something we won't see for uh, a long time again. To the Museum of Discovery and Science in Fort Lauderdale, Joe Cox is the CEO, using this eclipse to inspire future astronomers. But on a special event like this, it gives us an opportunity to flex those science muscles, try something new. It's a special and unique event for all, since all you have to do is step outside and safely look up. <laughs> Just observe and look at all in all. Yeah, look at all. That's what they all did there for uh, just over two hours. A lot of people here taking it all in. We had totality across parts of the country. If you want to get another glimpse of this eclipse in totality, well, you have to get in line early and wait a long time. 2044 is when we'll see the next one here in the U.S. I'm at the Fox Observatory in Markham Park. Dave Warren for CBS News Miami. Wow, where am I going to put those glasses so I don't forget them 20 years from Hold now? Hold on to them. You certainly don't want to lose them. Also, so cool to see all those kids really pumped up. Maybe future careers in STEM for a lot That's of That's right. Maybe future meteorologists, That's right, Dave? That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Dave Warren, thank you for that live report, Dave. Over at Zoo Miami, dozens of people showed up for a chance to see how the animals reacted to the change. The famous flamingos stayed pretty calm. Experts say that's because South Florida only experienced a partial eclipse. We heard 46%, so it didn't get as dark as the areas that experienced the total blackout. Yeah.